Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of great millstone, the rule well, and the thought is truth, among many other things. And salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, going out on the highways and byways, prophesying the end of this wicked kingdom, which is ruled now by Esau Edom. All y'all brothers and sisters out there, you know, that believe in Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Shalom. Yeah, man. Um, Truth is spreading, man. Truth is spreading. And these devils can do a damn thing about it. All they can do is sit back and watch. As the day goes by and the end, you know, comes near. This whole world of, you know, America, you know, the brain and all this shit that they've been doing since, uh, you know, in cave days. You know, when they get to drinking. This comes out, you know. I don't even want to go to the dog thing. I need to delete that shit, man. <laughs> but revenge is coming, man. And I just wanted to say that, hey, you need to just hang in there. You know, going through some things, demons getting stronger because this devil is also going harder. So we need to go harder, you know. And but hey, shit, hey demons is messing. You know, a lot of brothers up in hardship, you know, is is it's right there on the path, but we have to, you know, endure, man. Yahweh Shai suffered when you're not greater than our master. You know, so we need to just you know stick to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Cleave unto him and depart not away, man. Don't leave don't be uh, messed up in the mind. It can happen from time to time, man. That you think from, hey, that you, he, you know, speaking Dutch in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> As you're thinking like, hey, man, this is this this, this is some uh, some the hell with this world. Fuck this world, man. You know, it's better to be with the Lord. Even the Apostle Paul was, was saying it, man. But hey, we got work to do, man. And if you're not teaching. Then your work is to stay on the path of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because the Lord will make uh, everything that's wicked go away. And we will be with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai real soon, man. But we need to endure. And his people will be restored. And there's nothing that the devil can do to stop it. You know? This is, uh, let me go to um, the book of uh, Jeremiah 31. Let me start at, um, hey, the problem, man. I didn't even want to go here, but verse 31. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It's with Yahshua, man, northern uh, and the southern kingdom. Or really, Israel represents, you know, the um, the northern kingdom, and um, Judah, the southern, you know, the so-called uh, Negroes, Israel, the so-called Latinos, Native Americans. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, with my covenant, which my covenant they break. Although I was as an, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord. That's why. Um, you know, we are likened unto a very delicate woman, the Lord being the husband, you know, and also with Yahweh Shai and, you know, uh, his elect, the bride and the bridegroom, the bridegroom and the, and the bride, you know, th that's what it is, a perfect, and that's why we need to, uh, uh, it speaks about the marriage, you know, the supper, you know, we need to uh, eat this word, man. Be nurtured by it and by the spirit, of course. You know, the spirit of truth, the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And be guided by Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh You know, the Yahweh, the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. You know, really all, Yahweh Shai, Basham through the Holy Spirit. And also, but this shall be the covenant that I will uh, make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord Yahweh. 
I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. You know, so we're gonna have law in our mind, man. You know. So when the bridegroom returns, when the Lord comes back for his bride, you know, before Israel, the delicate woman. We're going to be together again, and we're going to be, it's going to be a perfect marriage, man, in the kingdom to come. The wicked will get their punishment, but hey, even the two-thirds are going to come back, but after death by pain, after horrible judgment, because they are showing contempt, you know, they're loading the law. They don't want to hear this, you know, they don't want to hear nothing. So, they going to get what they deserve. And don't make no mistakes, man. Hey, when demons be strong, but when you keep praying, and some of these don't go away, but by praying and fasting, man. So, to go on, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord Yahweh. For they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them. And there's going to be levels in the kingdom too, man. You're going to be rewarded according as your work shall be. The Lord has his favorites, you know. He has uh, bestowed different portions upon the people. Take a look at the apostles and elders. You know, they have a, 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 a large portion, man, <laughs> you know. And that's a beautiful thing. The hour of the Zah, you know, they will be rewarded for everything that they uh, have done, man, in righteousness. Because they, they brought many to this truth, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. But that's, that's instead of being, being mad and, and seeking preeminence, the Lord will put you in a certain spot if he sees fit. And he will do that in due season. But you need to respect your elders. You know, the elder apostles, the elder bishops. You know. So, worry about making it, man. And being a brother. Instead of being a, a damn, you know, a hater. I don't like that word, but hey, that's what they do. Having an evil eye to watch. Oh, it sounds disgusting, man. Having an evil eye towards your elders. Wow. Wow. And then think that the Lord dealing with you. <sighs> okay. Well, let us go on. Damn. Said the Lord, Yahweh. For I will for forgive their iniquity and will remember their sin no more. So, y'all Israelites, we're spiritual Israelites right now. You know? Everyone can come in. Hell no. Romans 9. But we know that. And let me cut that down. The, 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 let me go to a quick one. Acts chapter 5. First. You know. To the 30. You know. So the basics. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. And when he slew and hanged on the tree. He was crucified. Yeah, our people screamed for Barabbas. You know, just like them wicked people right now, want to, uh, you know, a thug nigga and all that shit. That spirit ain't no new thing under the sun, man. They been choosing a nigga, you know, a demon, instead of the Lord and Savior. They wanted the thief and the murderer. You know? They will be uh, with thesis on free Barabbas and shit like that, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. But hey, Yahweh Shai is our Lord and Savior. Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. You know, no man is omen. You know, Yahweh Shai, he's savior, he deliverer. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We can repent and go back to the Lord. You know, repentance goes into metonia in the Greek. A change of mind as it is. Uh, uh, as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. So now you're going back to what, you know, is this reversal of a 
known as this is in repentance. You basically turn back. Let me see what it goes into. Because you can go to the blue letter and to the etymology. Let me go into this first. Repent. Repent. Feel or express sincere regret or remorse about wrongdoing or sin. Who can sin? The law says the commandments are given unto the children of Israel. People can go off, you know, go against the Lord. But the law says the commandments, who did the Lord came for? Galatians chapter 4. For the ones who were under the law to redeem them. You know? So, feel regret or penitence about? Penitence. You know, it goes into repentance. You know, the action of feeling or showing sorrow and regret for having done wrong repentance. You go into this. You know, so like, you know, same thing. Goes for remorse. Let me go to the, at the moment. A repent, be grieved over one's past and seek forgiveness, feels uh, feel such regret for sins, crimes, or omissions as produce amendment or life from old friends, repenter, from re, here, perhaps used as an intensive prefix, very much see re, uh, vulgar Latin, penitere, penite, to regret, from Latin, uh, puniteri. Be sorry from Puna si Pino. Re goes into you know, back. You see? You can't go back to something that you were never a part of. If you like convert, you know, it goes into uh, a change or turn from one's religion to another. And. That's what we have, especially to Christianity. But us is from Christianity to the truth, man. From the slave doctrine to the real doctrine, you know. So, um, to trans, let me just jump down. And it goes to, um, yeah, let me go on. Convert there to turn around, turn towards, turn towards, change, transform, convert, win over. From vulgar Latin, convertir. Whatever it is, from Latin, convertere, turn around, transform from, and that's also you need to be transformed in your mind according to the will of Yahweh. Not be fashioned after this world, but you know, you need to transform, renew your mind, and come back to the Lord. You know, refresh. Come back to what? If you need to freshen yourself up, you're not another man. You know, uh, like, uh, you're still the same man, but now you do it in the spirit. You're washing something up. From uh, You're washing, your, your, your mind's being cleansed through the word. And now you're becoming a new man, according to the word of Yahweh, not following your own mind. Now you're becoming a new man, because you can wash yourself, and that, that doesn't, uh, uh, you know, avail to anything. But, you know, the outward... Uh, cleansing but now to the, to the spirit you come back to the lord from a assimilated form of calm with together see con verter to turn from pi root where to turn bent so here you turn to the lord turn around you come back so, con is with turn. You cannot turn back, repent, convert, come back to uh, the Lord if you've been never a part of this. And here it is. The Latin verb was glossed in Old English by uh, G. Siren, from Siren to turn, return. So, Acts 5 and 31. Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be prince and a savior and to, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. 
and we are his witnesses of these things. And so also is the Holy Spirit, whom Yahweh had given to them to obey him. And also, Jeremiah 31, and let me see, 35 to 15. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, which gave it the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided, so you see the moon and stars, they all have their own light, the sun has its light, not like the, the, the sun reflects on the moon, and the moon reflects the light of the sun, and then this night is illuminated. This, that's how it works according to science. Well, your science is science falsely so-called. Science means knowledge, to know. Ciencia, to know. But you have to have the true knowledge, which is the knowledge of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, and the things that are written for child are written for our learning. So that's the true knowledge, man. Not the knowledge of a damn devil that thinks you're a beast. You know, while the scriptures say you have a different flesh of, you know, 1 Corinthians 15, the flesh of beasts, of fowls, of the flying things, of animals, yeah, of, uh, of um, what was it? Uh, let me just go to it. Because I'm butchering it. It's going to be quick. So, like, uh, let me see. 1 Corinthians. 15 and let me see let me see oh was I wrong with that that's why I didn't go here that's why I went there flesh of peace oh it's five So let me check it out. Yeah, it is 15. Bug in here. I need to get down. First Corinthians 15, verse 39. All flesh is not the same flesh. For there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, and monkeys and stuff, another of fishes, and another of birds. There you go. And it's even celestial, terrestrial bodies, you know, the heavenly and the, the earthly bodies. You know, it's all different, man. Don't let the devil fool you with his Big Bang and his uh, evolution theory and all that. You know? So, Darwin was on his deathbed. He regretted it. But, hey, devil, you lied. But, uh, Jeremiah 31, verse, um, let me see, 35, thus said the Lord Yahweh, which gave it the sun for a light by day in the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves were of roar. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, said the Lord Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. But the Lord... He already made a few promises concerning, but he's just mocking these devils. Psalms 94 and 14. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. You see? Romans 11, where I wanted to go, verse 1. Here it says it, Israel not cast away. I say it then. Had Yahweh cast away his people, Yahweh forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed, the sperm of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, Benjamin, son of the right. Yahweh had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Would ye not what the scriptures say of Elias? How he make an intercession to Yahweh, saying against Israel, saying, Salakia. How he make an intercession to Yahweh against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed their prophets and digged down their altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? Because he Isaiah, speaking to the Lord, these people are basically 
you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, is, is there no one with me that is, you know, like-minded and is with me, like, that's the same, uh, let me just read on slide here. Um, but what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? Because this, 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 the most has is his left. He has his people that are preserved and have not. Let me just read. I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. You see? So, which serve Yahweh. That is the, the thing. The Israelites are still there and, you know, it went a little bit longer. And even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. You see that? And it is all by the will of the Lord, if you can read on. Don't want to make it too long, so like a bit of a tight, long night. And um, so the Lord did not do away with his people. That's the point. And let me go on in Jeremiah 31, verse. 37, thus said the Lord Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth search out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, said the Lord. So you see the devil going in the depth of the sea, but hey, the, the, the Lord, he knows that this is an impossible mission. The seed of Israel will never be cut off and the Lord is not a man and he should lie. He will give us the land of milk and honey. You know, he will give us the Holy Land. And to prove also that he's just, he's playing around with, with Esau, man. He's laughing at these devils. Proverbs 25, verse 3. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. So you see, Jeremiah 31, verse 37 37 again, thus said the Lord Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured, the heaven of height, the earth beneath, it can be measured, man. And the foundations of the earth search out beneath. <laughs> I will also, and, and it's lucky, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth search out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, said the Lord. And again, Proverbs 25 and 3, the heaven for height and the earth for depth. And the heart of kings is unsearchable. The Lord will restore his people. He has Esau in in the uh, yeah, you know, in the trick bag basically. Esau is deceived, man, by his own pride. That's really what it is, you know. The Lord controls everything. So with that, I would like to say shalom.